Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about a topic that spiked some controversies in one of my posts, which is regulator switch and gas sharing with one hand. I learned this technique from my cave instructor and soon after I started implementing it in all my courses. Now, this is not a requirement for any training level, which means that I don't force my students to do that, but I warmly recommend them to give it a try. My lab rat, once again, is going to be Mauro. Good morning, everybody. He offered himself to be the victim for my scenarios because he's kind of a masochist. I don't know what else to say, honestly. Uh, there are good chances you're going to survive. I hope so. <laughs> to decide what procedures we want to follow in case of emergency, so if we want to share gas using two hands to switch regulator or just doing everything with one hand, we have to establish the criteria to evaluate the two skills, compare them, and then try underwater. These are the two criteria. It has to work with any kind of equipment. Of course, we speak about open circuit, so it has to work with side mount or back mount, and in any situation, which means both in caves and in open water areas. And the uh, criteria number two is that it has to be based in the worst case scenario, which is zero visibility in a cave where we also have to hold the line. Our goal will always be efficiency. Let's compare the two techniques now and let's see the two advantages of sharing gas using one hand only. Number one, I'm going to put the short hose in my mouth before to give away the long hose, which means there are no two divers without gas at the same time. So basically, as a donor, I don't risk to become a liability. The advantage number two is that I do not compromise my ability to hold the line because I'm going to have the line on the left hand and I do everything with the right one. Now, the only objection that we have to overcome is that doing everything with one hand might be a waste of time for the diver out of gas because he has to wait that we put our regulator in our mouth before to give away the long hose. But that's why we are going to try to see where is the truth. Before diving, let's try on land. Mauro is going to use back mount today for two reasons. Number one is a more realistic scenario for gas sharing than between two side mount divers. And uh, number two, there are differences in the task load for regulator switches and also where to place our light. Let's see the differences in the regulator switches. Now, Mauro with back mount is always going to be breathing from the long hose. So if I ask him for gas in back mount, he's just going to give away the one he's breathing from and switch to the short one. For me, side mount instead is different because if I am breathing from the short one and he asks me for gas, I'm not going to give this away. I have to identify the clip of my long hose and give it away without doing any regulator switch. Instead, if I'm breathing from the long one, I have still to make sure I find the clip, make sure that I know which one I'm breathing from, give it away and do the regulator switch. OK, so if you dive side mount, you have one extra task compared to back mount. Let's see what happened with the lights now. In a back mount, it's going to always have the light clipped on the D-ring in zero visibility holding the line. In side mount, you might have it on the helmet or on the clip. Now, if you have it on the helmet, when you give away your long hose, you're going to have to knock the light off and then put it back to avoid entanglement. Now, honestly, if I know that I have to swim for a while in zero visibility, even with Simon, I'd rather put the light on the clip to avoid this extra step of having to remove it and put it back. But it's very, very important to keep the cable stored, otherwise we have an entanglement hazard. So it's another thing that we have to consider. Let's see now what happens when we share gas using two hands to switch regulator. Now, there is one scenario that we want to avoid, which is the following. Mauro is asking me for gas. I go to hold the line, so with the left one, I pass the long hose away, assuming I'm breathing from the long one. And while Mauro is switching regulator, you see, I still don't have a regulator in my mouth. I have to do it now before I completely deploy the long hose from the tank. I am absolutely not a big fan of this situation. A much safer way to use two hands to do the regulator switch and sharing gas is the following. When Mauro asks me for gas, I'm going to make a loop around the line with my arm and then I can use both my hands to give the long hose away and put the short one in my mouth at the same time. 
Now, this is where I have to be very careful. I must hold the line. You always have at least one hand on the line. This is how it looks like when I do everything with one hand. Mauro asks me for gas. I hold the line, identify which regulator I'm breathing from, of course, because side mount is one extra task that I have to do. And then, assuming that I'm breathing from the long hose, I switch regulator, give it away, Now I just deploy it, switch position, and we go out. It's time to put it to the test underwater, where we're gonna simulate uh, exit in zero visibility, and we're gonna share gas using both methods.
survived our experiments. Now, uh, for you, in zero visibility, asking me for gas, does it make any difference if I change the regulator with two hands or just one? No, as long as uh, properly done. It's more important for me, the uh, donor, to decide which method to use. If I develop the necessary muscle memory, I'm gonna be fast in one way or in the other one. Now, I personally think it's more efficient with one hand because I don't have to wrap my hands, switch regulator with two hands, hold the line and then change the hand I'm using to hold the line. One hand on the line, one hand to change the regulator and give it away, done, problem solved. It's not that doing which hands is wrong, there are just two different ways to do it and this is the one that we prefer. There is nothing wrong with one or the other. You just have to choose and have your good reasons to do it one way or the other. As long as you hold the line and as long as you give gas away with the right hand, if you do the switch like this or like this, it's up to you. That's why I don't count it as a mistake in, in our courses. If the students, instead of doing it with one hand, do it with two, that's not a mistake, of course. Uh, guys, that's it uh, for today. Thank you for following us until the end. And uh, I hope you find this uh, video useful. I'll see you next time. Did it make any difference for you if I was switch regulate with uh, two hands or just one? No. As long as... <laughs> <laughs>